Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Join me as I explore Kashmir and its breathtaking beauty, the paradise on earth. It all began in last week of April when I landed in Srinagar from Bangalore, welcomed by the crisp mountain air and the warm hospitality of this region. After a quick check-in at the airport, I wasted no time and headed straight for some sightseeing. I already booked the cab service for the entire duration of my trip ensured I could dive right into the wonders of Kashmir. Let's dive into day one of Srinagar. The day was packed with exploration starting with the enchanting Badamwari Gardens where every step felt like a stroll through a painting. Admission ticket was rupees 24 per adult and rupees 12 per children. Badamwari Garden, a historic park in Srinagar, Jammu Kashmir, India, known for its early almond flower blooms. The 300 Canal Garden is located at the foothills of Koh Maran, also known as Hari Parvat Fort, and is in full bloom during the spring. The garden is filled with trees, flowers and cascades and has a well-covered dome named after an Afghan ruler. The garden has cultural, traditional and heritage importance and has existed before the 14th century. It was revived by Jammu and Kashmir Bank in 2008 after falling into disuse and nomads living there during the summer. The garden is open every day from 10 am to 7 pm. Visitors can stroll along the walkways and watch the flowers. Some say the garden has a fragrant air and beautiful white flowers. Although I didn't witness the white flowers, since I visited in the last week of April. The flowers already turned into baby almond fruits and the lush green garden was looking beautiful. Inside the garden, there were stalls for Kashmiri traditional dress, which you could wear and get your photos clicked. Next, I ventured to Hari Parvat a place where history and nature blends beautifully. The entry face is rupees 50 per adult. After parking your car, you can leave towards the entry gate. At the entrance, army personnel will thoroughly check you and your belongings and hold your original ID proof which you can collect while leaving the fort.
to get to the main fort you need to climb about 200 to 220 steps hari parvat also known as koh e maran is on a hill west of dal lake in srinagar it has a fort built by the afghan governor ata mohammad khan in 18th century and surrounded by a long walk added by emperor akbar in 1590 like every other historical sites in india our dear love birds have left their marks here too Inside the fort you will discover a temple a gurudwara and a mosque showcasing india's rich culture diversity and religious unity standing proudly together The fort gives a fantastic view of the lake and is near significant religious sites. You can explore old apartments 
and tall pillars there and it also has a good view of nearby Magdum Shahib shrine My visit coincides with rain in Srinagar which I really enjoyed. After climbing down so many steps, I was really tired and hungry. So I went straight to have my lunch. I plan to try the delightful Kashmiri Wazwan cuisine, a culinary journey that's as rich in flavor as it is in culture. I went to the local restaurant called Mughal Darbar. The meal came at a price of Rs. 1200, which was not cheap but worth every rupee for the gastronomic experience it provided. And it was good enough for two people. After finishing the lunch, I went straight towards my hotel. The day's accommodation was at the charming White House group of houseboats, a tranquil retreat on the serene water of Dal Lake. The night's stay costed around rupees 4000 including breakfast, offering a taste of Kashmir's hospitality at its finest. The view of Dal Lake from the houseboat was mesmerizing. After settling in, I embarked on a shikara ride, a must-do experience in Srinagar. The two-hour ride, arranged by the houseboat owner, took me through the Nehru Garden, Floating Market, Mina Bazaar, etc., revealing the vibrant soul of the lake, which costed me rupees 1500. For those short on time, a one-hour ride is available for rupees 770. When you select houseboat, avoid taking it far from the ghats as it will take lot of time in transfer. I chose this houseboat as it was just opposite to the ghat number 12 and also it has two side open view. While enjoying the peaceful shikara ride, you can snack on kebabs, Kashmiri kawa, fruits and more as local vendors will approach you in their boats to sell their goods.
I must say the Shikara ride was amazing and so relaxing. Now back to my houseboat and call the day one off. In next video we will cover the day 2 of Srinagar vlog. Stay tuned for more adventures as my Kashmir journey unfolds. Please check the description of this video for all other details. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Take care. Peace.